Frequently Addict. I am Domingo Freire and you are again in your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. Today we will talk about the first step to use router bits. The Work Pro team sent me this kit of 15 router bits. When we open the box, we find 15 different router bits. We can see some bits with bearings and others without bearings. We can see that we have several router bits with bearings to finish the edges of our carpentry work, and other with different shapes to make grooves in the wood or MDF board. This set of bits has a graph that allows us to know the type of cut and finish that we will obtain when using each of the router bits. The Work Pro router bit case allows us to keep order when storing them to avoid losing them when we are not using our bits. Our Work Pro router bits can be used with the large router or with the pan router. The router that we will use will depend on the hardness of the material we are working. When working with the router we must be very careful. I recommend you use protection for your eyes, ears and take care of your respiratory tract. For this job I do not recommend the use of gloves because I consider it to be dangerous. All the router bits fit the same, whether they have bearings or not. Remember that your router can be supported on a table to work, or you can use your router holding it firmly with your hands. We must enter the router bit completely, then we are going to raise it about 5 mm and then tighten it firmly. Remember to adjust the height you want to do the milling. Once the bit is tightened and the height adjusted, you can start working. We can place a piece of MDF on the base of the router to know the height and the shape of the milling. Here we can see that the bearing abuts the edge of the MDF board to copy the shape of our board and only mill its edge. When we make a grooving, we must consider two factors, the router and the piece that we are going to work on. If the router is attached to a table, we will move the piece of wood or MDF that we are going to work. If we move the router with our hands, the piece must be attached to our workbench. I recommend using two clamps to properly hold your piece of wood or MDF to the work table. It is also important to check the height of the router bit before doing the job. Here you can get a closer look at the shape we made on the edge of the board using this bearing router bit. To know how to move our router, we have to understand how the router bit spins. Viewed from above, the bit rotates clockwise to cut the board correctly. 
For this reason, the correct way to move the router when we hold it with our hands is to move it from left to right. If you want to help me to improve my DIY videos, you can enter now in patreon.com slash Domingo Freire. When working with your router, it is very important to follow a precise path. Bearing bits allow us to follow the edges of the board or follow a template with the shape we want to cut. But when we use router bits without bearing to make grooves, it is very important to know the measurement from the center to the edge of the base of our router, because we will place a guide that abuts the edge of the base of the router. Here you can see that the groove that we made in the MDF board was completely parallel to the wooden strip that we placed as a guide for the edge of the base of our router. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Remember click on like, share and comment this video and subscribe to my channel. Remember I am Domingo Freire and I will see you in my next video.